I'm just leaving a little bit of white paper here as I go around uh, these guys. I've got some white on the top of each of their heads, and as I build up the color now, I've come through with all this yellow. That's what I did on my little uh, pre-painting. I always try to do a value sketch. And I do it in color, and it's me thinking through what am I what am I going to do here? How am I going to use the colors and the values to try to make the most dramatic painting that I can? I want my paintings to be um, beautiful and dramatic. And the the wonderful thing about being a painter. I was going to say as opposed to a photographer, but photographers now <clears throat> also have a lot that they can do with their paintings because of Photoshop, but um, artists, we can move trees and, and all kinds of things to make the best composition, and that I want to use, use what I've learned about design and color to make the most interesting painting that I can. Uh, I got a call from... Tina Ames, who owned Frames by Ames at the time, and she asked me to be her gallery director. And uh, I had been showing my watercolors with the Niagara Arts Guild and having some success with them. And, you know, my husband and I both said we didn't even know there wasn't such a thing as a gallery director. So that was funny because um, I just asked each time I made a commitment to my art to just keep trying. Something great would happen. So I'd say to him, Oh, you know, I really, you know, I need I need more space for my for my work. I had been in an upstairs bedroom, super crowded, and uh, I'd have to bring my mats out into the hallway to cut them. So you know, it it wasn't an ideal situation. And um, I said I we were gonna fix up our downstairs garage. We, we, we pretty much, um, our house has a lot of additions on it, and I, I designed a lot of it, and when I designed the garage, uh, I learned that I guess I should have pulled a car in there or measured a car, because you could just get the car in the garage, and with the uh, garbage cans and stuff there, sometimes you really hard, it's hard to get out of the car. So I said, why don't, we were going to turn it into a, like a room with a pool table and stuff for our boys to use, and I just got the idea that, boy, that would make a great art studio. So, you know, the boys were upset, but my husband said, yeah, you know, I guess you can do that. So I turned the uh, garage into my art studio. And, and every time I, you know, I say that I did that, but it was very, it was a very big decision, and it was kind of nerve-wracking for me. Whenever I would do something, I mean, you know, my boys were my life, and, and here I was going against them. They wanted a pool table, and, you know, I was saying, well, you know, if I'm going to have any kind of career, I really need more room. But like I say, every time I kind of took a stand for myself and, and tried something new, um, good things seem to happen to me, and the, the summer that I said that I really, you know, I want to have the garage, and, you know, my husband was very uncertain about what I was doing, and, um, I just, I had a lot of anxiety and, and, and uh, insomnia, because I, I didn't know what I was doing, and, um, that summer, I mean, it's hard to believe, but, but every, I started walking because I read that, you know, it would help me sleep and all that. And I started walking down the road here, and a mile from our house was a spot where I could turn around, and a field was there. And that whole summer that I was converting our garage into what is now my studio, I saw rainbow at the end of the road every day. I mean, I know it sounds and hard to believe, but I really did. Uh, and I just took that to be that God was telling me through the color spectrum that go for it, you know, go ahead, try this. So uh, I couldn't, uh, like I said, I couldn't have been any more uncertain about what I was doing. 
and I just kept trying things. And uh, luckily, my husband uh, kept progressing, and, and he got, you know, he he paid the bills. So it really wasn't a concern with with the money. And I felt very strongly about being a stay-at-home mom. Um, I just wanted to be here for the boys. I started teaching because I wanted to get out a little bit. I mean, it's a very solitary life being an artist. I love it. Now I have so many people in my life. I've met so many wonderful people through my art. And uh, the quiet now is, I, I, I enjoy it very much. I, I need the solitude. I, I think most artists are very sensitive and the real world sometimes is more than uh, we can handle sometimes. And just to go out to the studio and have, you know, put my music on. I've got a little um, Irish music in the background right now. I usually have something kind of calm. Usually I have calm music in the morning, and then uh, as it gets to be towards supper time, I might have something a little more jazzy just to keep me going when I'm getting tired. But I'm pretty hard strung and I don't need uh, don't need caffeine, don't need too much. I, I need those settling down more than anything else. So um, gained confidence as I went. I no, nothing that I do has come easily to me. Uh, I think sometimes people will say to a, to an artist or any anyone that does something well, people will say, Oh, you know, but you have that talent, you know, that's easy for you. And I don't think, I think most people that are successful at anything are successful because they work hard at what they're doing. Uh, a lot of people have talent that they never really develop. And just, uh, just like anything else, I really study a lot. I'm pretty much self-taught with my art. I've taken <clears throat> a few workshops, but I mostly have read, re oh, I've read tons and tons of things, and I try them. Uh, sometimes, you know, my students will come to class and say, well, I, well, I want to paint like you, and I'll say, well, you know what? you got to paint. You, you, I paint almost every day, and if you want to get good at anything, you have to do it. You can't paint once a week, or once a month, once a year, and and uh, be accomplished. And it's not that's not just painting; that would be anything. So I'm all, I'm one of those people that always thought that if somebody else could do something. I could probably do it too if I tried hard enough. I'm sure there's things that I can't do, but I've never been smart enough to know I couldn't do them, so I just keep working on it. Um, I heard a thing once at one of these conferences or something I was at, and they said that oftentimes the most su successful people at something, not even this particular art, are the ones that put the most effort into it. It's not always the most talented that are successful. It's the ones that work hardest. So that's me. I work hard. I don't know how much uh, natural talent I have, but I'm just very determined. So as I kept trying to do things, and I gained confidence, I overcame a lot of my fears or my limiting, limited thinking. Um, I said this summer I went to Ireland. I used to be afraid to fly. And like I say, I figured if somebody else can do something, I can probably do it too. So I remember years ago when we first started taking <coughs> the boys on vacation, um, you know, I didn't want them to know that I was afraid to fly. Of course, I guess they knew a little bit, but... Um, I would just go and stuff would do it and get there and whatever. But I remember in those days I used to watch the morning shows. I don't really watch any of their stuff anymore, but um, it would be just any show would be on or something and 
I remember watching Regis and Kathy Lee here, and and they tell you, I went I went here this weekend and I went there and I thought, you know, these people are flying all over the country, just like I would go up to Lockport, and I thought, this is ridiculous. I don't want to limit myself. I don't want to limit myself from doing things out of fear ever. So whenever something new comes along. I just think of it that way, and I thought, if they can go do it, and they don't worry about it, then that's what I'm going to do. So that was the attitude that I adopted, that I was going to just, you know, I mean, 